tomorrow the contact group on Libya will meet in Doha. On Thursday in Cairo we will have the meeting of the regional organizations and then the NATO foreign ministers meeting in uh, Berlin. I very much hope that uh, these meetings will uh, produce uh, urgently needed results to start a political process uh, on Libya and in Libya. We need to see a ceasefire, an uh, immediate, a credible, a verifiable ceasefire, and uh, we need to see the two parties sit on a table to discuss and negotiate on a political solution. We have said right from the beginning, and this is Greece's position, that uh, there can not be only a military solution to the crisis. Uh, priority remains, of course, uh, the humanitarian assistance for the Libyan people, and uh, Greece is uh, willing and ready to offer the island of Crete to be a hub for the support of the operations of the international community for uh, humanitarian assistance uh, to Libya. Thank you very much. They are always insisting, uh, all the Europeans are insisting that no military only solution and uh, we have to have a political only solution. But which uh, uh, proposal you think could be for a political release? Uh, I think that uh, this is a week of uh, intensive uh, diplomatic efforts on uh, Libya. We have today the meeting in Luxembourg, uh, tomorrow in uh, Doha the meeting of the contact group on Libya. We have uh, on Thursday the meeting of the regional organizations in Cairo and also the NATO foreign ministers meeting. And I very much hope that uh, these meetings will finally produce uh, the necessary results, urgently needed results, to start a political process uh, in, in Libya. But what Thank you very much. This is, this is, I think uh, you will find uh, nobody in the international community who can imagine a future of Libya uh, with Muammar Gaddafi. I think uh, the international community on this is very clear. Thank you very much. Yeah.